So let's recap what we've learned by now. We saw how Azure Portal looks like. We navigated through the portal. We started the process of creating a new SQL database. So we created a SQL database along with creating a SQL server in order to host the new SQL database. And we specify the firewall rules in order to allow our client to access the SQL database. So now the next um, step is to access our SQL database using different methods. In this lecture, we're going to talk about accessing our SQL database from within Azure Portal. So from within Azure Portal, we can go to SQL databases. We will get the list of SQL databases and from there we can navigate to our database or we can also go to the list of SQL servers and from there we can again access our databases. In this screenshot you can see a test uh, database I created previous time on my Azure account and um, I clicked on the database and here I have database related options. One such option is the query editor. So if you click on query editor, you are able to access your database. Now, regarding accessing and managing your SQL database, you can do many things. Among other, you can access the database's data using the query editor. Uh, you can manage the database settings, database security. You can monitor the database's performance and apply tuning techniques and recommendations. You can also monitor the database usage in terms of metrics and alerting. And last but not least, from within Azure Portal, you can monitor the database's health. So in this screenshot, you can see that I accessed one of my sample databases using the query editor. And I ran a simple query to just show that this is a way of accessing your data in the SQL database. Now let's uh, see a short demo of accessing the SQL database from within Azure Portal. So back to the Azure Portal, we go to SQL Databases in order to access our newly created SQL database. This is the database, Azure Course 1 DB. Let's click on it. And this, this is where we can manage the database configure its settings, different settings here uh, that has to do with um, replication, high availability, backups, uh, security settings, intelligent uh, performance, monitoring, troubleshooting, and much more. For this demo, we're going to see the query editor in order to access our data. So let's click on query editor. and we need to connect by specifying the login password. This, if you remember, this is the login we used while we created the SQL Server instance before. This is the sysadmin. So, this is our database, Azure Course 1 DB. I am logged in as a SQL admin and these are the tables of my sample database. Let's run a simple query just to demonstrate a select statement against our database on Azure. Let's run this and as you can see it returns data. Okay, now let's jump to the next lectures and demos and see other ways of accessing our database.